Hey Randomizer, welcome to another Ordery Gear video. So I'm going to show you what I do on a daily basis with my account, just to make sure that uh, I claim everything from the mission, um, as well as uh, get all the resources that I need. So first off, I make sure I have enough stamina to do what I need to do. So probably a 147 is enough. So first things first, I actually, sorry, collect everything I have from dispatch to make sure that it's not going overtime. If you play a lot, uh, you can set the timer a bit shorter. So the 30 uh, minute to the 20 minute stories. But uh, for me, I'm not on all the time. So I set the longest hours as possible, uh, even though it's not as efficient. Next, I farm 5-5, five, uh, five uh, which right now is a pretty decent place to get um, fodders as well as uh, skill chip drops um, I haven't done any other stage farming yet to see the rates because later on when we get events it drop purple chips instead of the blue chip so everyone will have enough but right now I'm just using 5-5 because one of the missions on your daily is to do one uh, story a day so I'm just doing that right now and again, you can use any fodders uh, in the run. So three fodders plus the fodder farmer in my case, which is Milvis. But uh, to me right now, I don't care so much about the experience. I'm showing the, um, the dailies that I do. So I'm just going to run this as soon as possible. And now with the, uh, the dailies done, uh, we will go into the battle page. There are quite a few things uh, to do there as well. Okay, and we head on towards the battle page. So usually first thing, oh, look at that bug. First thing I do is check to see if these have ended. If so, I'll make a little push and collect all the rewards because this resets monthly, uh, which is in five days, and this resets weekly, um, which is in uh, one day, and you get really good rewards from that. So after that, I go into the uh, data chip collection. And uh, I usually do stage five because stage five drops green. It's the highest stage that drops green. So I do that. And again, just using Milvis for fast clears because of the elemental advantage. It's a, a quality of life thing. You can obviously use any other teams or units to uh, clear that as well. Okay, and after that is done, I would go to uh, target elimination. So this depends on when you want to do it because I know every day I farm hunts. So I actually don't do this part, but if you are just trying to get your dailies done as soon as possible, what you can do is actually do a level one hunt uh, just to run it very, very fast. However, it does waste 15 energy and I don't really advise um, uh, for that. So um, if you know you're going to do hunts later, just exit out and do your stage three. Make sure that you do it once, just once a day, because that's when you get the bonus, which gives you two purple cats. And again, make sure that the, the teaming is doing your daily, um, you're using Cleaver because it just makes things so much faster and uh, so much easier. So the two purple cats, and then you'll see that it no longer says bonus. So you'll get green after that. And after I do the bounty missions. And this is again, a one-time bonus for um, for the day where you get, I think 42,000 gold is, uh, if I remember correctly. And we all know how rare or how scarce gold is. All right, so let's see how much gold we got from that. Okay, 41,200, very nice. Okay, and then you can see the extra reward has expired. So if you do it again, it's not as efficient. And now, like I said, 
I will do the unique equipment as part of my um, uh, daily routine. So you get three entries. You can buy more if you want to spend gems. I recommend you don't, if it, especially if you're free to play. Uh, even small spenders don't do it. It can get a bit costly so uh, just do your three attempts a day uh, in my previous unique equipment guide i said do two level ones and one level two um, so this way kind of balancing this out and you'll be able to push most unique equipments to level 20 which uh, that's what it matters for a lot of the things um, but uh, in the beginning as you're starting out feel free to just do three stages of uh, level one um, and then later on if there's a unique equipment you want to push to a higher level like herons then you can do two to one so two level ones and one level two uh, to make it a bit higher level but yes again please bring a cleaver because it just makes your life a lot easier your uh, daily routine will be a lot longer if you don't cleave all right so i'll do the last um run unique equipment run later i don't want to you know drag this video on for too long um, so let's exit out of that and come back and then after that um, you should uh, check your event to see if there's anything going on but uh, to complete the rest of the missions i would then go into fleet i'll collect what i have to collect okay exit out of that go into alliance make sure you're getting the alliance currency very important go to construct and donate donate and if your alliance is active and everyone's donating cupcakes perfect donate cupcakes to your um, members and request cupcakes so everyone can donate and receive it easily and of course collect everything from the weekly quest and once that's done go to supply and make sure you get the backup energy then go to gear supply and do your refreshes uh, so get 20 free refreshes and uh, like I said in the beginning uh, in my other video about gearing guide it's one of the best ways for newer players to get really really good gear because after uh, this reaches 100% you're guaranteed at least one if not two golden six stars that has a gold affix so you always want to buy one so like this one mm, pretty good three purple one gold it's actually decent for bruisers so I might keep this so let's lock that and then i still have 12 free refreshes and you won't see six star gear here until you've cleared a stage seven for any of the hunts so do that first um otherwise you won't see six stars uh, this one's not good so i'll just pass on that and of course if you're super low on gold you don't have to do this um, but i think it's still worth it in the long run because those are um, decent uh return for investment so crit hp this one's not good and i'm at max it will warn you so uh, i'm not going to refresh with gems and then sample exchange make sure i get this and then make sure i get this and uh, that's what i needed for the week make sure you grab two stamina pots every single day um, then the chips and the two um, red cubes and then for my um boom for my guild i grabbed that of course and then weekly limit make sure you try to grab this so i know tomorrow i'll have it so i'll just wait but um, make sure you grab that and then for the arena shop grab that and uh, for armament make sure you grab this it's limited to one per day so you really gate it um, so make sure you grab that and then i just collect mission and that pretty much is everything i just need to make sure i log in at least once a day before the reset like a few hours before the reset to collect those two you don't have to log in exactly in between those time frame you just have to log in before uh, anytime after the time frame and before the reset so it's quite easy and of course if you haven't already um do your target elimination like what we said uh, i'm right now trying to upgrade my mill visits gear so i'm gonna do this stage but um that's where we were last time so i'm gonna end this video here as this is where we will conclude our dailies that was a nine minute dailies um, pretty good um, i think uh, our gear is pretty chill uh, because in the beginning a lot of it you'll be stamina gated uh, so of course the, uh, the upgrade will be really slow but later on you'll get more stamina more ways to spend stamina and obtain stamina so it'll be easier for you guys but yeah tomorrow is here uh, hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys and uh, please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video.